All right, good evening, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Cucina Quarantena. Tonight, we are being joined uh, for a live from Thailand edition of Cucina Quarantena by my friend A. Swadika. Swadika. <laughs> How are you over there? So tell us what we're going to be making today. So today we are going to cook red curry chicken, but it's not normal red curry because we have pineapple red curry chicken today. So let me show you the ingredient. Oh, oh. All right, here is the ingredient. Uh, so we have chicken, pineapple, like slicing a small pieces. Yep. We have uh, basil leaf, sweet basil. Uh, we have red chili. You can use cap capsicum or bell pepper that is red color. It don't have to be uh, uh, spicy. We just want it to be colorful and beautiful. So the red chili and red curry paste. Uh, coffee lime leaf and um, coconut sugar and normal sugar. And we have coconut milk. I use this in the box because the um, fresh one is too much process for me today. And we have fish sauce. Of course, like Thai food have to have fish sauce and salt and also like a normal sugar and over there banana for our dessert later on. So this is just the ingredient, not so much. And it's so easy, easy to find. Yeah, to making Thai curry from different parts of the world. It's not that difficult, right? Yeah, you always say that, A, but then, you know, I try to make it and I never feel like it turns out as good as what you're making. But hey, you know what? Let's give it a shot. Well, you would just have like red curry pears, pineapple, basil yep. leaf, chicken, coconut milk. What else? It's no complicated at all. It's so easy. I know, but you always say that. It's so, it's not complicated, but then I always feel like, yeah. Well, anyway, let's see how successful I am. You are a good teacher and I am a very willing student. So let's see how we do. All right. Okay, so, but I already prepared all of my ingredients. You need to slice your chicken. Also, you can use any type of meat. Like uh, if you like seafood, of course, you can make a seafood too. A beef, a pork, a chicken. Uh, um, yeah, uh, Sarah, you're going to make a shrimp or a chicken like meat mine? I ended chicken. up with chicken. Yeah, I, okay. I changed my mind. So I ended up with uh, chicken. Have you sliced your um, chicken yet? Yes into a small piece because we need the sauce of the curry to go inside the meat and yes. um you know like you have the basil leaf you have yep. to separate it into um like the leaf okay, okay. so uh, some of thai ingredient you know like when you come across to our country you will see that we put a lot of things that we don't really eat um for example like one of the dish called Tom yam soup or tom yam gung or a spicy soup with a uh, shrimp. We put like coffee lam leaf, lemongrass, galanga. It's a very hard um, ginger if you know galanga. So, yeah. and we got a lot of things like left over after we eat. And uh, in the Western culture, you will feel like you're not finished your meal, you got a lot of food left. And in Thai style, we say like, we're not eating, we just put it for smell or for um, like therapy or whatever uh, we're gonna call, but uh, you know, it's, we just put it in, but we don't have to eat every single leaf uh, yeah. that got left in the bowl, okay? Or it's not right. like on this dish. So of course we put like the red chili, you can eat it the red chili, but um, our uh, purpose, we want just uh, want to, Put it because it's beautiful and you can have a bite too and also the coffee alarm leaf is nothing wrong if you eat it if you're showing it it's not poison but sometimes it's too tough to eat uh to put the cup uh coffee alarm leaf in the curry it's uh make it smell uh nicer and more like uh 
favor, of course, like uh, they have a little bit of favor on the coffee alarm leaf too, but it's not necessary for you to eat it. And also inside the curry paste, we have already a spicy taste from the curry paste. So they have already a shrimp paste and a lot of like uh, herbs in here, like shallot, garlic, um, chili, and uh, many things is in here already. So if you would like to add on like Thai kitchen, sometimes my mom brought it from the market like this and she just put a, a little bit more of like a shrimp paste, put a little bit more of garlic and uh, something else. But for me, I think it, it's okay. Like I can add on salt or fish sauce later on when I need a little bit of more flavor too. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, and you have a coconut milk which is like a core 100% uh, percent of the coconut meal or the coconut cream, uh, whatever you call over there. But actually when we make a coconut meal at home from a real coconut, like a fresh coconut, yeah, of course this one is made of real coconut too, but I mean like the fresh coconut that my mom make at home, like we cut the coconut in half and scrape to get the meat of the coconut and squeeze to make, um a coconut meal right and after that we will add some hot water on it so it's make the homemade coconut milk is not so thick as the box coconut meal because this one have no water to add on but later on if you feel like you don't like the texture or you don't like uh the coconut milk that too thick too creamy of course you can add stock like the chicken bone broth or the uh, pork bone broth in the um, curry later or I just put like uh, the peel water on it too like that so uh, whatever we can adapt and whatever you like you can be creative in your cooking I know like every house have home recipe and of course like my mom she have her own recipe and I have my own type of cooking as well. So we're not cooking together because we are going to fight, right? So I thought I'm gonna put this and my mom, no, 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 we better put that. So we just have our own style of cooking, but yeah, it, we still make exactly the same um, tasty uh, curry like that, all right? Well, and for people who are cooking with us in the United States, um, this is the most common red curry paste you can find. You'll find it at most grocery stores in the ethnic section. I went up to the Asian grocery store uh, and they had a few more choices, but just a red curry paste, you don't lose much. This lasts forever. This is like two years old probably. So lasts a long time. And then coconut milk, canned coconut milk. Sometimes you can find the kind in the, the carton like she's got, but you can find this at most grocery stores. Uh, and then this is that sugar she was talking about that you have to go to an Asian grocery store to find, uh, but you can substitute anything else you want. Like even we're doing a keto diet, so I'm going to substitute some monk fruit sweetener in instead of this. So, all right, what's our first step, my friend? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to turn on the gas. <laughs> And after that, the first thing that I am going to put is the coconut milk. So at first I will put it uh, in like one big spoon. Okay, we always can add on. But because this time I will don't use any oil at all. I just put like the coconut milk and I will stir it until it turns to be a little bit of oil oh that's right. clever yes i don't use any oil on this cooking and after that we stir until we turn a little bit of oil and after that we are going to put the red chili paste so maybe this one is 100 gram that i brought yesterday i just gonna put half and again if you don't like a spicy you can put a small uh, amount of chili each time. So this is the that, red curry paste. A, this is yeah. the curry paste? Yeah, okay. After so that, I'm going to just go with 
that much to start and then we'll see yeah we'll see how we're doing yeah it could, it could end up too spicy but myself i like spicy so i just yes i know out. you're yeah, a different gram. yeah 50 gram on my uh and after that i will add a little bit more of coconut cream just to make it a little bit sauce so just remember everybody, A likes spicy so much, she brings spicy and adds extra spicy to the Thai food in Thailand. So, you know, yeah. go easy on the, the red curry paste because it's probably gonna be a little bit much for America. Yeah, except my coffee, I didn't put my chili. All right, after you stir when you are Curry pears look um, a little bit oil and look very nice color. I'm going to add a little bit of this too because I'm curious about this. This I bought at um, Fred Meyer, which is like a big grocery store here, and it's a red curry right. powder, which I've never seen before. So I'm going to yeah. add a little bit of that and see how that goes. Yes. You keep. You can keep at the coconut milk when it's too dry, okay? Okay. Oh, it smells good already. Yeah, smell nice. Yeah. All right, what's next? What do we have next? When your curry pears look um a little bit like cook and smell nice we are going to put the chicken meat so it depends on how much you want to cook today okay so okay. for me i think i put about 400 gram of chicken okay so i did two full yeah. chicken breasts and we just wanted to note about the curry when you guys are doing it go easy to start you can always add more later but you can't deduct spiciness i learned that the hard yeah. way when you and i cooked uh, green curry together i I just put in the same amount as you, and then it was like, oh boy, <laughs> a little too much. I want you. I know I you did. You. I know. All right, I'm going to put my chicken in, okay? Yes. So, yeah, we keep stir the chicken to be a little bit cooked. So I've got this on about a medium flame. You don't want it too high and you don't want it too low. So kind of in between, right? Yeah. And do you, you don't want it too high, you don't want it too low. Are you using a wok, A? Yeah, you are. Okay. Yeah. So a wok would be good, or you can use, this is a chef's pan if you have a chef's pan, or you can also just use the saute pan. Smells delicious already. I'm actually gonna deviate just a tiny bit from you. I'm gonna add a little bit of coconut oil because I love the smell of coconut oil. It's one of my favorite things we do on the Thailand tour when we go to the market in Chiang Mai, the, the local market, and we see how they actually make the coconut milk. Yeah. It's crazy to watch them just like crank those coconuts through and you get that yummy milk. Yes, if you are, it uh, is too dry, you can add a little bit of coconut milk. Okay, so that's where I'm at so far. So I don't think there's any place in the US that you can get um, 
fresh coconut milk, but do you get fresh coconut milk every day or every few days? Huh? Yeah, I can I can use the fresh coconut milk if I go to the market like uh, this morning, but because I prepared the ingredients in last night, so I just don't want to wait up too early and go to get the fresh coconut milk. Yeah. And after our chicken cooked, we put more coconut milk as much as you want. Not don't have to be too much. And also, like then you will see the color of the coconut milk is quite thick. So I just gonna put some stock of the water on it too. Just not too creamy. Yeah. Like, you know, even Thailand, northern part of Thailand and uh, middle part of Thailand, we like different flavor. Like in Chiang Mai, we don't like the curry to be too spicy, except me. So, um, like, <laughs> I have to say, yes. that's, so. that's not, that yeah, would not like live not, up to my expectations. Not too spicy, not too milky, coconutty, or salty, things like that. Our taste, it's a little bit plain, more plain than Bangkok people. So Bangkok people, they love the curry to be more like a spicy, rich, creamy, and a little bit salty like that. Yeah. So after that, when you boiling it very well, so uh, I'm gonna put my pineapple. So you can see I already cut my pineapple. So um, I'm gonna dump it all in. I love the taste of the sweet and sour of pineapple. And actually today I got a very good pineapple that sweet and sour taste. Yeah. Perfect. I put, yeah, I put all of my pineapple in. And we love it, bo uh, we let it boil to let the flavor of the, um, pineapple sweet and sour coming out yeah let it go. i'm so curious about the space level so i'm going to take a little taste now before we go any further and just see yeah oh that's yummy already mm. yeah you uh when i, I maybe better when you let the pineapple cook for a little bit because the taste of the flavor of the pineapple will coming out and then you know the real taste. So after that, um, you maybe taste it a little bit. So to see you like more salt or more sugar, but don't forget pineapple could be already sweet, right? Yeah, and also one of the things I've learned in Thailand is that if you happen to put too much spiciness into your curry, putting something yeah. sweet in is what makes it stop being spicy, which I didn't know that, so that was something I mean, maybe a lot of people know that. I didn't realize that until I had spent time in Thailand. So, um, right. Well, I think I'm tasting this, and it doesn't taste as spicy as I had expected. And I think it's because the pineapple is cutting it, cutting the spiciness. Then I will put one spoon of fish sauce first. But I, I, I think I'm just gonna put one and a half first. Okay. Yeah. And this is uh, just if you haven't used fish sauce before, um, it doesn't make your dish taste like fish. This is like umami. This is that kind of dimensional flavor that we're trying to go for here. Um, to be to be warning, fish sauce itself it smell very bad. It does. <laughs> yeah, but when it in the food, you know, like when it in cooked, it's very tasty. Yeah, it smells very funky. You know, it's got a really like, yeah, uh, it smells like the junk you find between yeah. your clothes when you get out of the shower. Yeah. It's gross, but. This looks great already. Okay, what's next? Yeah. Tasty. Mm. Mm. I've never yes, done tasty. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm just gonna put a little bit of fish sauce. Okay. 
more sauce and I just uh, put a pinch of sugar because Thai style we always put a little bit of sugar in our curry. Actually, yeah, I'll do a little bit of this. And I just can't skip it. All right, so like I said, I'm trying to be a good girl on this diet that we're on. So I'm gonna do a little bit of this sugar substitute. So Which if are... your curry is too dry, you can always put a little bit of water or a little bit of coconut milk. Okay. I think it looks good. I think that the liquidiness is probably right. So when A and I are doing a tour together, we do a cooking class in Chiang Mai with one of her friends and they, we do an entire meal. We do what, like four courses, I think. <laughs> also, if you like the taste of the salt more than, uh, more than fish sauce, you can always put a little bit of salt in your curry too. Yeah, I think adding that little bit of sugar was good. Um, that definitely, balanced out the fish sauce yeah yeah if you don't like the smell of fish sauce also you can put salt you could do soy sauce too it probably wouldn't taste exactly the same but uh soy sauce is more like in the stir fry mm -hmm. not in the curry but except you are vegetarian you can use um soy sauce okay mm. It's good already. It is, yeah. Yes, yummy. Mm. After that, just gonna put like the kaffir lamb leaf. So it's in the leaf like that. I just gonna tear it in half. What does that taste like? Like what could I substitute? Because I I couldn't find that. Is would like a lime wedge? Would that work? Um. Yeah. It's just like the smell of the coffee alarm leaf. So I just gonna put it in. I just break it in half and put it in because I probably don't eat the 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 leaf. Just put it for the smell. Okay, so just because I don't have that, I'm gonna take a little bit of lime zest, a little. Oh, uh, no, no. Like no? you don't squeeze the lamb in. Put the, no, no, no. That's put, not put the leaf. If yeah. you don't have the leaf, you skip it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And after that, you have the red chili that you already cut. You put the red chili. It already smells like I'm in Chiang Mai with you. That is just like, it transports me. I feel like we're walking around down by the night market to one of those restaurants we usually like to hit. Yes. So good. Yeah. And the last thing is basil leaf. I don't know what it is, A, but when I try to make a curry on my own, it always turns out mediocre. But when you help me, it always turns out good. Like this smells perfect. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. You need to always be on Zoom with me every time I want to cook Thai. Okay. <laughs> that is my secret to let the people want to be near me. <laughs> well, everybody wants to be near you anyway, because you're adorable. <laughs> Wasn't you about that? I have to ask my mom again. All right. Mm, so tasty. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I'm done with my curry. Just want to show you a little bit closer. Look, this is how my curry look like. Beautiful. Yes. I already make a steamed rice. So after I cooking this all, I just gonna have this curry with my steamed rice. 
we're gonna have cauliflower rice because we're not doing carbohydrates right now, but it won't be as good, but it'll be fine. Have you ever, have you yeah. heard of that, A? Rice made out of cauliflower? Uh -huh. Have you what? heard of rice made out of cauliflower before? Oh no. Yeah. I haven't tried it. Like you, I have like my normal green rice. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so good. It's so good and it's beautiful too, right? Yeah, it is. It's very pretty. So this is what I'm gonna have with it. It's cauliflower, rice cauliflower. So you just heat it up in the pouch and it's just little pieces of cauliflower. So you don't eat the carbohydrates of rice. So. Oh. Not as much okay. fun, but. Okay. Better than nothing. Yeah. We've been sitting around for too long. So I put us all on a diet. Okay. Right. After that, we are just gonna prepare for our dessert. So today I have a um. This is a coconut sugar, but you can use any type of sugar that you have at home. But coconut sugar is make uh the taste a little bit more soft than normal sugar, and I think it's a little bit more tasty as well. So if you don't have, you can just use like brown sugar, white sugar, or whatever you have at home. And also I still got a lot of the coconut milk right here and banana. So you can use any type of banana you have. Normally I use like the lady fingers, like a small banana, but it's not too good yesterday when when I've been to the market, it's not um, not very good option over there. So I just use a normal banana instead. I've got some gnarly looking bananas, so I'm gonna use these because they need to be used. Yeah. But actually, if you don't have banana, you can also use like pumpkin, a sweet potato, but for sweet potato, because it's sometimes it's cooked for too long. So maybe you just uh, boil or steam the sweet potato before you put it in the coconut cream. Yeah. Jeez, I would have never thought about that. Okay, so what we, we're starting off by taking bananas and slicing them, is that right? Yes. So your banana look good, like it's gonna be sweet. Yeah, these look My good. banana is not too ripe, so doesn't matter. It's still delicious. Um, yeah, if you, it depends on how much you want to cook. So maybe I just gonna put only three banana, two banana, maybe. Okay, yeah, I'm For doing me. two bananas. Yeah, two banana. Okay, I just gonna make two banana too, just for myself. Nobody else can eat it. Mom need a little bit of diet too. She should not have too much dessert. So I have two banana right here. After that, so I'm gonna put coconut milk in the pan. Because this coconut milk is a little bit too thick, I will end, I will, at the end, I will put a little bit more coconut cream later, but now I just put a little bit of water with the coconut milk too, because I want to boil my um, sugar. Yeah, and then you turn on the heat. I'm always surprised, you know, when I, when I cook Thai food, like with you or when we do the cooking class, how fast, yes. how fast everything comes together. You know, it seems really hard when you order Thai food at a restaurant, it seems like it must take forever, but it's so fast. Yes, actually like if you cook every day and in the restaurant, you prepare all the ingredient already. And actually I can cook it faster too when I cook it by myself. So oh, wow. You, yeah, and you can put like as much as, um, you know, like as much as sugar you want, but today I just gonna put like one spoon of coconut sugar, like not too sweet like that. But if you like more sweet or less sweet, it depends on you. 
We can always add on sugar, though. No? Yeah. After that, let the sugar boil. So we're just heating up the coconut milk right now. We haven't put the bananas yeah, in. Yeah, but don't too high because the co as we said earlier, the coconut milk can turn to be oil. We don't need the oil in here. We just want to melt the sugar, okay? Yeah. After you melt the sugar, we put banana. After the sugar melt, put banana. You can make a taste. Like if you want more sugar, you can put on. All right, I'm just looking at comments. If you guys have any comments or questions, I, I was too busy cooking and I wasn't looking. So if you guys have questions or comments for uh, for A, I am looking right now at what you got to, to say to us. So I will keep that going. Mm. We keep it boiled for a while until banana cooked. And after that, if you think you want uh, uh, some more flavor inside your um, inside your coconut uh, cream, you can just put a small amount of salt, just like a pinch of salt, not too much. Okay, just very small amount of salt just to break down the sweet sweetness this one too much okay just a little bit what would you think about adding like flaked coconut would you do that would you add like dried coconut well you can put like a young coconut like mm -hmm. a yeah a, a coconut meat that young like you slice in but mm -hmm. actually like uh, normally when um we cook at home we can be creative like we can add also like um the tapioca you know like oh. the tapioca bowl oh that would be yummy yeah so see if your banana cook and you taste your uh sauce like the coconut cream oh my gosh a that's so good <laughs> all right it i mean we've be... done nothing it's been simple so far and holy cow is that yummy yeah it should be okay if your banana already cooked. Look at look at my. So my is yeah. I'm actually done. gonna add. I'm gonna add more banana to mine because I think I my ratio of banana to sauce is not correct. So I'm gonna put more banana pieces. In. My banana cook. I'm gonna turn off the heat. It looks so good. Dang, so easy. Yeah, so you could put other things. You could put like mango in this too, I guess, or you could put in, yeah, co dry uh, flake coconut, or you could put in, like, I'm thinking I could put in like flax seeds or chia seeds or something like that for the extra, for the extra healthy yeah. of, of us. Anything. Oh it's too God. easy, huh? Yes, it is. Like I said, it's super easy when you help me, but when I do it on my own, it never seems this easy. <laughs> You're magical. Um, the, I think the keto people, they can have it too without sugar. Uh huh. Like they can use some sweetener, like from something else that they can have. Because uh, keto people, they can eat like fat, right? And the theoretically, we, it's, bananas are not okay on the keto diet. So oh. you're kind of breaking the rules by eating bananas, but you know, it's it's a yeah. very small cheat because bananas are, you know, they're healthy. Yeah. Aren't they? So okay. this is your little cheat, right? So uh, basically with this um, banana cream, you want to boil it until, do you want this, the sauce to thicken, the coconut milk to thicken? No, like the coconut milk enough because we don't need it to cook. After it to cook, it will turn oil. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I think it's enough. Yeah. All right, I turned it off. So here, my coconut cream with banana, my dessert. 
Wonderful. Oh my gosh. Oh, it smells so good. Uh, it smells. It smells like a slice of heaven. Yes. I feel like I'm in Thailand. I think I shared my mom. I'm gonna share half with my mom because it's so good. I don't want her to miss it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So all we put into this uh, to the coconut cream dessert was sliced bananas, coconut milk, and a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt, and just cook but that. But don't don't forget, don't boil your coconut milk too long because it's yeah. gonna turn to be oil. You don't need yeah. the oily. Yeah, so, we don't want the oil. Great. Yeah. So ju you just put coconut milk, melt the sugar, put banana, and make a taste, and that's it. Holy cow! Yeah. No, I'm just. I think I'm just gonna eat this for dinner. Mm. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Easy and good, right? Oh my gosh, yeah. It tastes a little bit, reminds me a little bit of a good rice pudding or tapioca pudding. Mm. So good. My goodness, Abe, you've spoiled me. This is fantastic. So here's the way my uh, curry turned out. Yeah. Looks beautiful, smells wonderful. And I'm going to serve wow. that. Wow. The riced cauliflower because I'm watching my carbonate. Oh, and look how beautiful yours looks. Fantastic. Uh -huh. Well, my friend, this has been an amazingly fast dinner that you have helped us put together. For you, it's breakfast though, right? Yes, breakfast. <laughs> well, I really I appreciate you for that. breakfast as the uh, Asian woman. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we talked about that yesterday that it's totally normal to have curry for breakfast if you're Asian. So yeah, yes. it's my dinner and your breakfast. <laughs> All right. Well, whatever. Yeah, food whatever. is food. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm just going to sit here for the rest of the night and eat this straight out of the pot. It's so yummy. Mm. It's like hot ice cream. Oh, don't finish it. Love it for Luca and Nicole. Yeah, Luca has escaped for the night to a friend's house and Nico is hiding somewhere. Nico, do you want to come say hi to A? Nico, he's coming. Well, everybody, I want to thank you for watching today. Cucina Quarantena. So um, today, just to, to wrap up, we did a pineapple uh, red curry, which A made a beautiful one with chicken. I did chicken as well. And for dessert, uh, A showed us how to make uh, banana cream, which here's my taste tester. You want to say hi to A? Hi. Hi. <laughs> so here you go. You you tell us how it turned out. It's really good. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> so this is uh, member number two of A's uh, most devoted fan club. So we you can make it too, Nico. It's so easy. Yeah, exactly. Nico should have made it. Next time, Nico will make it. So, well, thank you, you so much for coming. You can make it with what? pumpkin. You can make it with a sweet potato. Um, yeah, uh -huh. whatever, whatever you have, like you can make um, like with coconut sauce. Like banana is very good, and I like it with pumpkin, taro, sweet potato. But actually, like sweet potato, maybe you have to cook it separately before you uh, put the coconut cream because then you will boil the coconut milk for too long. Yeah. Well, and actually pumpkin's a really good idea set for people yeah. who are following the diet that we're following because it doesn't have uh, carbohydrates in it. So that's a really good idea. Maybe I'll try that next time. So yeah, well, right. my friend, I, I want to thank you for being so wonderful and generous as always. It's always a delight to spend time with you. I just wish that we lived next door and I could just pop over next door and sit with you to eat. But yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And Hope everyone enjoyed the cooking today and wish you all have a very good time, good dinner and sleep well tonight. So from my heart to yours, take care, stay safe and stay strong. Bye-bye. And Thank you, darling. We'll see, see you, you on time. Thursday. So Thursday uh, at, uh, we're doing it the same time, right? On Thursday? Yeah. Yes, Thursday in America, Friday in Thailand. Okay, so 9 a.m. your time, 6 p.m. Uh, United States time on Thursday. So same time, 
We'll see you again with A, and A is going to show us around a temple near her hometown in Chiang Mai, actually one I've never seen before. So it's going to be a fun yes. event. So we'll see you then. And again, if you're interested in passing a tip on to A for her wonderful uh, teaching today, you can send that to my PayPal, which I'll put that information up, and I'll just wire transfer all of the tips we get to her at the end of the week. So please, if you'd like to do that, remember, we're all tour guides out of work, and I love supporting my friends in faraway places. So thanks again, A. Mwah! We'll see you on Friday. Bye-bye. Bye. Kapkumka.